The Environmental Audio Extensions or EAX, are a number of digital signal processing presets for audio, present in Creative Technology Sound Blaster sound cards starting with the Sound Blaster Live and the Creative Nomad, Creative Zen product lines. Due to the release of Windows Vista which deprecated the Direct Sound 3D API EAX was based on in 2007, Creative discouraged EAX implementation in favor of its OpenAL-based EFX equivalent, though at that point relatively few games used the API. Technology EAX is a library of extensions to Microsoft's Direct Sound 3D, itself an extension to Direct Sound introduced with DirectX 3 in 1996 with the intention to standardize 3D audio for Microsoft Windows, adding environmental audio presets to DS3D's audio positioning. Ergo, the aim of EAX has nothing to do with 3D audio positioning, this is usually done by a sound library like Direct Sound 3D or OpenAL. Rather, EAX can be seen as a library of sound effects written and compiled to be executed on a DSP instead of the CPU, often called, "...hardware accelerated." The aim of EAX is to create more ambience within video games by more accurately simulating a real-world audio environment. Up to EAX 2.0, the technology was based around the effects engine aboard the EMU 10K1 on Creative Technologies and the Maestro 2 on ESS1968 chipset-driven sound cards. The hardware accelerated effects engine is an EMU FX8010 DSP integrated into the Creative Technologies audio chip and was historically used to enhance MIDI output by adding effects such as reverb and chorus to the sampled instruments on wavetable sample-based synthesis cards, which is often confused with the wavetable synthesis. Developed by Wolfgang Palm of PPG and Michael McNabb in the late 1970s, however not related. A similar effects DSP was also present on Creative's cards back to the OR32. However, the EMU 10K1's DSP was faster and more flexible and was able to produce not only MIDI output but also other outputs, including the digital sound section. Developers taking advantage of EAX choose an environment for their game's setting and the sound card uses the mathematical DSP digital filter presets for that environment. The original EAX was quite primitive, only offering 26 presets and 3 parameters for more accurate adjustment of the listener parameters and one parameter for the sources. Each revision of the technology increased the available effects. EAX Advanced HD also known as EAX3 and UP provide support for new environmental transitions, new effects, and multiple active effects. Further additions include smooth changes between EAX environment presets and audio occlusion effects simulating a wall between player and sound source. EAX was used in many popular titles of the time, including Doom 3, FEAR, and Prey. These games support EAX 4.0 if audio hardware with an OpenAL supporting driver is present. Because hardware acceleration for Direct Sound and Direct Sound 3D was dropped in Windows Vista, OpenAL will likely become more important for game developers who wish to use EAX in their games. Most releases of EAX versions coincide with increases in the number of simultaneous voices processable in hardware by the audio processor. The original EAX 1.0 supports 8 voices, while EAX 5.0 allows 128 voices and up to 4 effects applied to each. Creative cards are generally backwards compatible with older EAX versions, although hardware accelerated DSP processing of these effects only happens on cards with EMU chips. 
Most audio solutions from Creative released after the X5 Titanium HD except for the Audigy RX and other companies offer EAX software emulation of varying degrees instead. equals 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 EAX1 0 equals 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 8 simultaneous voices processable in hardware 32 individual 3D voices Environmental effect presets Per channel individual environmental presets Hardware DSP rendering EAX 2.0 EAX2.0 is supported by Sound Blaster Live, sound cards 32 simultaneous voices processable in hardware Occlusion effects Material-specific reverb parameters <laughs> EAX3.0 EAX3.0 is supported by EMU 10K based products such as the Sound Blaster Audigy. 64 simultaneous voices processable in hardware. Smoothing between 3D audio environments. Direct access to all reverb parameters. Environmental panning. New reverb engine. Beginning of the advanced HD designation from new reverb engine. Topic EAX 4.0. EAX 4.0 is supported by Audigy series sound cards. Real-time hardware effects. Multiple simultaneous environments. Flanger Echo Distortion Ring modulation effects EAX 5.0 EAX 5.0 is supported by EMU 20K based products such as the Sound Blaster X5 except the Extreme Audio cards. 128 simultaneous voices processable in hardware and up to four effects on each. EAX voice processing of microphone input signal. EAX pure path. EAX sound effects can originate from one speaker only. Environment flexi FX. Four available effects slots per channel. EAX Macro FX Realistic positional effects at close range Environment occlusion Sound from adjacent environments can pass through walls <laughs> Future development According to Creative's OpenAL 1.1 specification, EAX should be considered deprecated as a developer interface. New development should use OpenAL's EFX interface, which covers all the EAX functionality and is more tightly coupled with the overall OpenAL framework. <laughs> EAX emulation. In addition to hardware devices, Creative also released EAX emulation drivers for computers with only onboard audio. The differences lie in the software bundle. Sound Blaster Audigy Advanced MB includes Creative Audio Center, Creative Media Source 5 Player, Organizer, Creative Waver Studio 7, Creative Alchemy, Sound Blaster X5 MB includes Entertainment Console, Creative Karaoke Player, Creative Media Source 5 Player, Organizer, Creative Waver Studio 7, Creative Audio Console, Creative Alchemy. Wine implements software emulation of a subset of EAX. EAX 
Topic: <laughs> Sound Blaster Audigy Advanced MB. Also known as Sound Blaster Audigy Advanced MB, it is similar to Audigy 2SE, but the software supports EAX 3.0, which supports 64-channel software wavetable sample-based synthesis with direct sound acceleration, but without hardware accelerated wavetable sample-based synthesis. DAC is rated 95 dB signal-to-noise ratio. It is available as an integrated option for Dell Inspiron, Studio and XPS Notebooks. Later versions of the driver support EAX 5.0. <laughs> Sound Blaster X5 MB It features EAX 5.0 and Openal support Crystallizer CMSS 3D SVM Graphic Equalizer Creative Alchemy Windows Vista and Windows 7 only, is used for providing EAX in Vista Console Launcher Entertainment Mode Audio Console Karaoke Player Creative Waiver Studio Creative Media Source Unlike its predecessor, Audigy Advanced MB, x MB does not include a software-based soundfront synthesizer. Another difference is that it has the option to run in 30-day trial mode. <laughs> Audio player versions EAX-like technology is also present in several digital audio players by Creative Technologies, such as the Nomad and Zen lines. In these devices, the following effects and features are implemented Different reverb-like environments Speed shifting slower or faster Environment adaptation train, plane, public place etc. Sound image, broad, narrow, etc. A simple graphical equalizer. Topic. See also. List of games with EAX support. Openal. Direct sound. A3D. Dolby Surround, Dolby Pro Logic, Dolby Digital, AMD True Audio, Head Related Transfer Function, HRTF. <laughs>